hydrothermal explosion causes damage in Yellowstone National Park area. Data shows no unusual volcanic activity. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientist says a hydrothermal explosion in Yellowstone National Park damaged a sidewalk and threw debris several stories into the air Tuesday morning in the Biscuit Basin area northwest of Old Faithful. According to the scientist in charge of the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the explosion, which scientist in charge Michael Pullen described as a small explosion, occurred about 10 a.m. Tuesday about 2.1 miles northwest of Old Faithful, likely in Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin, Pullen said. Pullen said in a statement Tuesday afternoon that there were no reports of injuries from the explosion. Video posted online by people who witnessed the explosion showed several people on the sidewalk near where the explosion occurred, and video of the aftermath showed debris throughout the area and damaged sidewalks. The Biscuit Basin parking lot and sidewalks were temporarily closed for safety reasons. Yellowstone National Park geologists are investigating the explosion but said the data does not indicate unusual volcanic activity. Monitoring data does not indicate any changes in the Yellowstone area. Today's eruption does not reflect activity in the volcanic system, which remains at normal background activity levels, Pullen said in a statement. Hydrothermal explosions like today's are not a sign of an impending volcanic eruption, and are not caused by magma rising to the surface. This type of explosion occurs when water quickly turns to steam underground and is quite common in Yellowstone National Park, he said. There was a similar explosion at Biscuit Bay in May 2009 and a smaller one at Norris Geyser Basin on April 15. Porkchop Geyser in Norris Geyser Basin erupted in 1989. Hydrothermal explosions often shoot boiling water, steam, mud and rock into the air and can reach heights of up to 1.2 miles, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. A 2018 report said large hydrothermal vents occur on average every 700 years. At least 25 craters have been identified in the park that are at least 328 feet wide, the report said. While large hydrothermal vents are rare events on human time scales, the potential for future similar events in Yellowstone National Park is not remote, the report said. Based on the occurrence of large hydrothermal vents over the past 16,000 years, an explosion large enough to create a crater 100 meters, 328 feet, wide as possible every few hundred years. Black Diamond Pool erupted with murky black water after an earthquake in July 2006 and saw several explosive eruptions. In the days following, according to the National Park Service, though eruptions have been rare since then.